to be able to recycle textiles back to textiles, you need to be able to disassemble clothes or textile products because a garment is not textile. There is a button, there are labels, there are zippers. This needs to be taken out before you can get back to the textile that you then can recycle at a high quality. This disassembly is what the, is the main bottleneck today in the, the textile recycling industry. If a garment costs less than a pizza, there's a problem. In my dream, I would see no landfillers, meaning that all garments are recyclable and circularity is the norm. Resortex originated in 2017. I realized that I could use my engineering background to solve this problem to make fashion circular. The solution itself, technically speaking, is a combination of yeah, thermal uh, soluble stitching thread, so a thread that will melt at high temperature, that can be used on existing sewing machines. And then we have those smart disassembly systems, which are thermal machines in which we can heat up products that were previously stitched with smart stitch and make that smart stitch thread disappear, allowing it, the, the product to fall apart. It's exactly like a kind of Lego game where the pieces need to put together and then when you really put them yeah. apart, they just fall apart and it's easy to put them together again in a different form. In the end, what we offer is an easy way to recover the different materials. Solving the root cause of the problem by designing the fashion to be disassembled and then providing the disassembly oven to make the solution holistic, functional and profitable. And making sure that recycling is the new standard. The combination of a smart stitch and a smart disassembly, what we can ensure is that all the textile products are separated and this ensures that you can recuperate up to 90% of the material. To show you a concrete example, here we have the denim trousers from Berska, collection that we released with them last summer. In this case, if you want to recycle this product, you would commonly shop the upper part, so you will waste all this material. In our case, what we do is that we selectively disassemble the zippers, the button and the waistband, and 90% of the cotton that is in this material can be recycled. And this verse is quite interesting because manual, normally you can lose, you can recuperate just up to 50%. And in mechanically, we are also around this, this value. So we can almost double the amount of material that you, we can use as feedstock after our process. Ninety-two million tons of textile are wasted every single year. One person only is recycled in a circular manner, meaning textile to textile recycling. Up to 10% can be sold as a second hand, while the rest, unfortunately, is shipped from the global north to the global south. Once they arrive, they are mostly incinerated and landfilled on the spot. The countries don't have the infrastructure, it's polluting soil, water and air. The current financial model for not only fashion industry but other industries is a linear model. All the value of the material is lost at end of life. We keep the value of the material in the value chain of it and bring it, the raw material back and avoid sourcing a new raw material. And with this we are able to perform this circular economy that will respect the boundaries of the planet and furthermore it is profitable. If every garment has a smart stitch, it means this garment is designed for recycling. At a global level, in the coming 10 years, if we implement resort solution on all the fashion industry, we can reduce up to 200 million tons of CO2 annually. Recycling technologies need to work at scale, sorting technologies need to work at scale, disassembly solutions need to work at scale, and then we need to interconnect them. We want to be disruptive, we want to create a systematic change in harmony with what is existing. We don't want to be destructive. This year, 
we were bombarded by heat waves that engulfed the globe. A lot of records were broken in terms of temperature, natural disasters. The planet is urging us to make a change and the change must be now. I believe in, again, being proactive and be part of the solution instead of part of the, being part of the problem. I meet enough people that really want to be part of the solution and that gives me hope as well and that also gives me the energy to continue.